Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh and have a very good day. Today, I'm going to share with you how to design uni axial short brace column. Given here the cross-sectional of the column with 275mm for the B and 325mm for the H with a moment that is acting at the major axis where the bottom moment is 25km and then the top moment is 50km. Given here are the design specification in order for us to design the column. So what i going to explain here about this effective length. So the effective length is based on the calculation that already determined by previous calculation, which is the total height of the column minus with the H of the beam. Therefore, we get the effective length is 2750. And then the diameter length and diameter bar given here. So if it is not given, you may assume the value, the minimum of diameter length as usual is 8 mm, and then the, the diameter bar is 12 mm based on the Euro code too. Okay, and then the exposure class is XC2. And then if it is not given, you have to refer based on the location of the project that you're going to design. What are the value for the exposure class? You refer to the table given in the Euro code. And then the fire resistance is 60 min minutes. And then the axial load NED is equal to 1,500 kN. The first step, we have to calculate the nominal cover. So as usual, in order for you to calculate the nominal cover is equal to C minimum plus the C deviation. So as usual, the C deviation is 10 millimeter. Then for the C minimum, you have to calculate based on three conditions, fire resistance, bond requirement, and also exposure condition. For the fire resistance, you have to use same as what you have calculated for simply supported beam in order for you to determine the alpha SD value. So in my case here, the alpha SD value is referred to the simply supported uh, table, which is table 5 point. So if I refer to, tab, to the design appendix is table 5.5, therefore the alpha SD is equal to 30 millimeter. Then I got the C minimum due to the fire resistance is 24 millimeter. Due to the bond requirement, so it's equal to 12 millimeter. And then due to the exposure condition is C minimum durability is equal to 25 millimeter. Then we compare these three value. We get the maximum one is 25 millimeter. Then the nominal cover is equal to 35 millimeter. The next process is we have to check the slenderness ratio. So in this is the purpose we would like to ensure that the column that we're going to design is correctly or verify it as a short column. Therefore, the slenderness ratio should be less than the slenderness limit. So the first one, we have to calculate the area of the column and then the moment of inertia, radius of gyration, the slenderness ratio, and then we have to calculate the slenderness limit here. So the slenderness, it is same as what we have done before. Okay, so you may refer to our previous example. Okay. Here is the calculation of the design moment for the uni angel column. So we have to calculate the first one, MED is equal to maximum between MO2 and also M minimum. MO2 is equal to M plus NED time with the EI. M is equal to maximum between the M bottom and also M top. Moment for bottom column and also moment for the top column. So... The value here is 25 kilonewton meter and 50 kilonewton meter. Then the answer is 50 kilonewton meter. And then the eccentricity is equal to L0 over 400 and then it's equal to 6.9 millimeter. And then MO2 is equal to 50 plus. Therefore, MO2 is equal to 50 plus NED time with the EI. Then you got the answer here 60.35 kilonewton meter. The minimum moment is equal to NED time with E0. E0 is equal to H over 30. And it should be more than 20 millimeter. Then the answer here is less than 20 millimeter. Therefore, we use E0 is equal to 20 millimeter. Then we get the minimum moment is equal to 30 kilonewton meter. We compare these two value here, 60.35 and also 30. Therefore, the 
design moment is equal to 60.35 kN meter. Next is design the main reinforcement. In order for us to design the main reinforcement, the first one we have to calculate the D2. D2 is actually H minus D, effective depth. Or we can use this formula, D2 is equal to C nominal plus diameter link plus 0 0.5 diameter bar. Then the answer is 49 millimeter. Then D2 over H is equal to 49 over 3 to 5. I got 0 0.151. And then we have to calculate N over BHFCK and also M over BH squared FCK ratio. Then I use table D2 over H is 0 0.20 bigger than 0 0.151. So if you get, for example, 0 0.14, you may use 0 0.14. So if you get 0 0.12, you may use 0 0.15. Okay. So I got an intersection between these two value M over B squared FCK and N over BH FCK, the intersection is between this line 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 in your design chart. So I assume it is at the center here, okay? At center, and then we get ASFYK over BH FCK is equal to 0 0.15. Therefore, this value is for the purpose in order for us to determine our AS required for the column, area of the reinforcement required for the column. So AS required is equal to 0 0.15 times with 275 times 3 to 5 times the FCK 25 divided by 500. I got the answer 6, 70 millimeter square. So I provide for H16, which is 804 millimeter square. Then we calculate the AS minimum by referring this 9.5.2. The formula for AS minimum for the column is equal to 0 0.1 NED over FYD. And then the answer is 344. And then we compare with 0 0.02 AC. So 0 0.02 AC, sorry, here is a typo. And then we got the answer 179. Then the value is the biggest one is 344. Then AS maximum is equal to 0 0.04 AC. And then we get 3575. Then we make a conclusion here is in between the AS minimum and also AS maximum as usual. So next, we calculate the link. So the first one is diameter link. So diameter link, we have to compare between these two values, 6 millimeter and also quarter of the diameter bar. Okay, 0 0.25 times the diameter bar. And then as the need of the, uh, the requirement that provided by Eurocode, the minimum dimension for the reinforcement is 8 millimeter. That's why we provide here 8 millimeter for the diameter uh, minimum for the link. And then with spacing of the link. So we have to compare this three value 20 times with diameter bar is the dimension of the column and also 400 millimeter. So 20 times 16 is 320 millimeter. That's the dimension is 275, 400 millimeter. And then the answer I provide here is actually 275. Okay, the lesser one, then I provide 250 millimeter here. Therefore, the link that I provide for this column is H8, 250 center to center. At the lapping section, is actually 0 0.6 time with the spacing that we provide here, which is 250. Then I got the spacing for the reinforcement link at the lapping is 150 millimeter H8, 150 center to center. Therefore, we have to draw the detailing. In order for us to draw the detailing, we have to draw the detailing for both sections, which is the longitudinal section and also the cross section for both. So, this uh, detailing, you have to make sure that because of this column is bent at D, major axis, therefore, the, the arrangement of the reinforcement okay, should be at the minor axis here. So, it is a normal practice that how we going to cater the load because the major axis is good is already in a compression. The minor axis is not good in a compression. If we apply more load to that column, there is possibility failure on this side. For example, if we provide six numbers for another two numbers will be here and here, not here and here because this column is bent at major axis. Okay, so this is how we draw the detailing for the uni axial 
short column that is where the moment is bent at the major axis so if it is bent at the minor axis the numbers of the column will be draw here okay so if we have a six number so it will be here one two three four five six in this case okay i'll provide at the major minor axis here okay so i hope that with this sharing session you understand how to design unit agile short column if you have any question you may refer to me later thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh